Hurry up! The van is leaving for the mountain trail overnight in half an hour, whether you're ready or not. You sure you've got everything, Lisa? How'd you fit everything in that little bag? My dad's a colonel. We had inspection at 0600. Lisa, honey, you forgot something. I knew it. The kitchen sink. <clears throat> An emergency whistle? But, Mom... You've got to be prepared, Lisa. See? Have fun. A whistle? Congratulations, you're now officially Queen of the Geeks. Ignore her. Come on, let's go load up the horses. Here, we have a scout. <laughs> More fun if you're riding me. Like being loaded. You should be careful. He might. Anyone could have rounded up Cobalt. But anyone didn't. Stevie did. Don't you have something to say to her? Thank you. There you go. She totally showed you up. You're not going to let her get away with that, are you? Don't worry. I won't. <laughs> You can't reach me on the trail, but Mrs. Reg will be here, and the vet's on speed dial, and, uh, oh, in case of fire. Use water? <laughs> I know. Would you relax, Max? I've got it all under control. Oh, sorry, Christy. That's okay, Red. Are you ready to go? I saved you a seat next to me in the van. Oh, thanks, but I'm not going. What? Why? Someone has to help Mrs. Reg look after Pine Hollow. Come on, let's go. I'm not going. What? I've changed my mind. I've... I've got a cold. <coughs> yeah, right. What's going on? Red's not going. And if he stays, I stay. <laughs> Set. Come on, Veronica, let's go. Oh, what All right, she doing? Everyone in. Everyone in. Can't wait, let's go. Finally, Veronica. Yeah. What took you so long? Belt on. Ninety-nine pieces of tack left to clean. Ninety-nine pieces of tack. You take one down, you pass it around. 98 pieces of tack left to clean. 98 pieces of tack. You 
you take one down, you pass it around. Great. Christy's at Pine Hollow, and I'm stuck with the moron tabernacle choir for the whole weekend. Have you seen my sister Lisa? She forgot her hair dryer. They already left for the mountain trail overnight. Ah, oh, okay. Why didn't you go? My mum's making me go to my sister's birthday party. Like I care. She's not even double digits yet. Wait till she is. Lisa thinks she knows everything. I'm Ashley. What's your name? I'm Melanie. I like your horse. His name's Dime. He's a pony. Want to help me groom him? Cool. I'll go tell my mum I'm staying. <laughs> Want to get some water for the horses? Right behind you. Where's Lisa? Oh, uh, she's fixing her tent. It's another first for Lisa. <laughs> Doesn't she want any help? No, she wants to do it all herself. Wish everyone felt that way. Veronica's such a spoiled brat. She doesn't deserve a horse as good as Cobalt. Cobalt doesn't deserve someone like her. I'll be right back. The tent's not going to sit up itself. I thought we were sleeping in cabins. This is inhumane. What's inhumane is the way you treat Cobalt. I don't think I need another lecture from the Saddle Club. That's exactly what you need. Everyone has to help out, Veronica. And since Carol's packing up Cobalt for you, why don't you find something useful to do? OK, everyone, gather around. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're so strong. Do you work out? No, I work. Plus, playing guitar keeps my arms in shape. You must love the mountain trail overnights, Red. Less stalls to muck out tomorrow morning. Yeah, too bad it's only once a year. Mm. I trust Max left his usual brief instructions. Uh, uh, six pages, front and back. <laughs> <laughs> How's your cold, dear? <coughs> Much better, thanks. You should go home and get some rest. Now, I give my horses six drops of eucalyptus in a nose bag filled with straw. I'll remember that. In your case, one drop on a tissue. Looks like it's just the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> More like the four of us. <sighs> OK, listen up. Wendy will ride up ahead with the younger riders, so I'm trusting the rest of you to follow the rules. The Martin family has kindly consented to let us use the back 50 acres of their property. Please keep to the marked trail. Now I want all of you to pick riding buddies and stick together. Aren't you coming, Max? No, he can't. He has to stay back and make Max's magnificent, marvelous, meaty, mouth-watering mountain trail chili. Chili? He couldn't think of anything to cook that started with M. <laughs> <laughs> What are you standing around here for? Let's go. Watch where you're going. I'm sorry, Patch is acting weird. If you don't know how to control your horse, you shouldn't be here. He's got an inter patch. He's never done this at Pine Hollow. He's happy to be on the trail ride. That's right. Horses get just as excited as we do when we go someplace new. Oh, Lisa, are you all right? Are you okay? What happened? I don't know. I, I think so. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, I started slipping. Your girth is loose. But I'm sure I tightened it. Patch puffs out when you put his saddle on. I know that, but it's hard to get it tight enough. Don't worry. All beginners have trouble tucking up.
Hey, what are you still doing here? You should go home with that cough. What? Oh, no, it's fine, really. I'm feeling so much better now. So, I could help if you want. I mean, since I'm here. Oh, that's OK. I can handle it. I don't mind, really. It'll be fun. You sure? OK. So where should we start? Uh, you can start here. We'll meet in the middle. Do it in half the time. Thanks, Christy. This place is amazing. <coughs> what a perfect day. Could you guys sit behind the bushes? You're ruining the view. So much for a perfect day. Don't worry. I don't think she'll be staying long. What are you staring at? Nothing much. Is that the best you can come up with, Stevie? How childish. <laughs> Get it off me! Get it off me! <laughs> oh, there's my rubber spider. It didn't scare you, did it? Uh, nice throw. Try putting a spin on it next time. Are you guys on the mountain trail overnight? Yeah. How'd you know? My parents told me I'd find you out here. You should stick to the trails. There have been wild animal sightings around here. You never know what you might run into. Wild animals? Like what? Panthers, wild dogs, poisonous snakes, your average bloodthirsty man-eaters. Yeah, I thought I saw some killer deer. <laughs> I'm Phil Marston. I live here. I'm Steve. Hi! Oh. I'm Veronica D'Angelo. Veronica! <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? You're so clumsy. Yeah, grab my hand. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Phil seems nice and cute. Yeah, he looked gorgeous, laughing at me while I nearly drowned. The water only came up to your waist. That's not the point. He just stood there with Veronica, laughing at me. I bet he let go of my hand on purpose. <laughs> See? I told you, Phil's a creep. <laughs> parents belong to the same country club. Isn't that funny? Huh? Oh, yeah, hilarious. So does Stevie have a boyfriend? Are you kidding? Who'd be interested in her? To. I could ask Max if he could stay for dinner. Yeah, that'd be great. Really? Good. And maybe after dinner we could go for a hack, just the two of us? Can you just wait a minute? There's something that I've got to do. Sure. Don't look now, but there's one cute creep heading your way. I'll go find Lisa. She's probably pretty sore from the ride. Get back here. Don't leave me alone with... Hi. Him. I thought I'd find you here. Great detective work. I'm camping here. Where else would I be? Look, I'm sorry you fell in the water. I was only trying to help. Honest. By laughing at me? Big help. I didn't mean to, but... 
you have to admit, you look kind of funny flailing around in the water like that. I was not flailing. Maybe it was more like waving. Stevie, wait. Oh, brother. <laughs> Great! Thanks. No problem. It was easy. I just wish I could help you more. Really? Because that one still needs to be cleaned, if you're up to it. Uh, I'll do it in a second. I just have to answer this. This better be important. Red was just about to ask me out. Of course it's important. I met a guy, Phil Marston. He's so hot. How hot? Picture Red, only our age and rich. OK, tell me everything. For some reason, he's chasing after Stevie. He probably feels sorry for her. So what do I do? Easy. You make him feel sorry for you. How? Just get thrown off Cobalt. You want me to get bucked off my own horse? No, you don't really get thrown. You make it look like you did. Then when Phil figures out you're hurt... He'll come riding to my rescue. It's perfect. I know. But how will Phil know where to find me? Figure it out. I have to go make sure Red doesn't leave. I thought he was just about to ask you out. He will, eventually. Knock, knock. Who is it? Me. Are you OK? I'm fine, just unpacking. Yeah, that can take forever. I'll be out soon. <coughs> Megan, I'm just going to take Cobalt for a quick ride down that trail over there. I was going with Phil Marston, but he's busy, so if I'm not back in half an hour, could you tell him? I don't want him to worry. Veronica, he's right over there. Why don't you tell him? Thanks, Megan. Oh. So you live way out here? It's so far away from everything. It's only half an hour from Willow Creek. And out here, I get to ride Teddy every day. Great. Guess you better be heading home. DV, don't be so rude. What? I was just thinking about Phil, because, uh... Max doesn't allow strangers at the campsite. And if he told us once, he told us a thousand times. I never heard Max say that. He says it all the time. Hey! Go. Max gets ugly when he's mad. Hi, Max. Hiya, Phil. How are your folks? You know each other? Sure do. I met Phil when I talked to his parents about using their land. Has anyone invited you for dinner, Phil? We're having my world-famous chili. I told you, he's just like her. Veronica said she'd ask if I could stay. Hmm. Must have slipped her mind. But you're more than welcome. I'd love to.
I finished the stalls. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. No problem. I mean, it was great hanging out with you. Maybe we could grab something to eat. Oh, thanks. But I've still got a lot to do. That's OK. I meant after, when you're done. And I could help you more, too. No, you've done enough today. <laughs> they pay me to be here. <laughs> then you could buy me a soda. Actually, thanks to you, Christy, I'm probably going to get out of here early. That means I can make it to my band rehearsal. Band rehearsal? But I thought... Thanks again, Christy. If it weren't for you, I would have been stuck here all day. Hey, Wash. I think I can make it to band practice after all. I'll be out of here as soon as possible. Hey, what are you still doing here? Nothing. Well, not nothing. It's just... So you're in a band? Yeah, I just told you that. And actually, I'm running late, so... I love music. Maybe I could come and hear you play sometime. Now? Sorry, but we never let anyone sit in on rehearsals. Mm. It's kind of a band rule. Look, I've got to run. Uh, if you need anything, just ask one of the other stable hands. Or Mrs Reg. Wait! You can't go. It's Bark. What about him? He's limping a lot. I think he might be hurt. Really? OK, I'll check him out. There you go. Is Lisa ever coming out of her tent? She's feeling a bit embarrassed. What's so bum between friends? <laughs> so peaceful. Hey, you're right. OK, where's Veronica? I rode into camp with her. That's weird. Cobalt's not tied up. Maybe she took him out again. Max said we weren't allowed to. Like that it stopped Veronica. Maybe we should go find her. She could be lost. With my luck, she'll be back in camp bugging me any minute now. for the mountain trail overnight in half an hour, whether you're ready or not. Come on, let's go. I'm not going. What? Red's not going. And if he stays, I stay. I'm Phil Marston. I live here. I'm Steve. Hi! I'm Veronica D'Angelo. Veronica! <laughs> this better be important. Red was just about to ask me out. I met a guy. Phil Marston, he's so hot. Tell me everything. For some reason, he's chasing after Stevie. He probably feels sorry for her. So what do I do? You make him feel sorry for you. Help! Somebody help me! I 
have to go make sure Red doesn't leave. I thought he was just about to ask you out. He will, eventually. Turn around, you silly horse! <laughs> I don't know. He looks okay to me. That's so weird. He was totally limping. I don't know what happened. No, I'm worried about Cobalt. I bet you she's faking her disappearance to get back at me for the spider gag I pulled on her. <laughs> Bill, Veronica told me to tell you she went for the ride without you. You better go, Phil. Wouldn't want to keep you away from Veronica. What? I don't know what she's talking about. She said if she wasn't back in half an hour, then I was supposed to tell you. She thinks you'll worry about her or something. What? I don't even know her. We were never supposed to go on a ride. Veronica's making it up. Sounds like her. What's she up to? We should tell Max she's gone. Who's gone? It's no big deal. Veronica's just looking for attention, as usual. She's pretending to be lost, so Phil will go looking for her. Veronica's out in the woods alone? How long has she been gone? Not long. Half an hour. She's fine. She's probably sitting on a rock doing her nails or something. <laughs> Easy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Is he okay? He's exhausted. Clearly spooked. But other than that, he's fine. But where's Veronica? in charge while I look for Veronica. I'll be back soon. Let's go tack up. You guys are going? But Max will freak if he comes back and you're gone. Not if we find Veronica. There's tons of trails. Max can't look on all of them. Exactly. We'll find her faster if we've got more riders out looking. OK, let's go. Thanks, but we're fine on our own. Look, I'm not saying Veronica's in any danger. But... Remember when I told you that there are wild animals around here? I thought you were joking. I was, kind of. There aren't any blood-sucking man-eaters, but there are wild dogs. Really? A couple of farmers have seen packs of wild dogs on their land. That's weird. They usually stay away from people. They attacked a mob of sheep and they're still around. They must be starving or their puppies are around or something. Then we'd better find Veronica fast. I'm coming with you. 
Why? If something attacked us, what could you do that we couldn't? I didn't say I would protect you. I grew up around here. I know the trails. But if you really don't want me to come, we I mean... We don't have any time to argue about it. Let's just go find Veronica. What's happening? Veronica's lost. We're going to look for her. OK, I'll get my things. Ow! Lisa, it's more riding. I'm coming. Okie doke. Probably all sitting around the fire, stuffing themselves on Max's disgusting chili. While I'm lying out here, practically near death. <sighs> Wait till I tell my parents about this. I want a full refund. You just wanted to be in the lead, and since I've got the faster course, you had to push me off the trail to stay in Let's front. Let's quit it. We're supposed to be looking for Veronica. I was before I got cut off. I haven't seen any sign of her. Which way do we go? I don't know. What do you guys think? That, that way. way. Real helpful. That's totally the wrong way. If we turn right, we stay on the main trail. It's the safest way to go. That's why we should go left. If Veronica was on one of the main trails, we would have seen her by now. And besides, the best way to find someone who's lost is to be lost too. Who's with me? We shouldn't go off the main trail. OK, let's try the main trail. And if we don't find Veronica, we can go back this way. Sounds good to me. Come on, Kamichi. Looks like it's just you and me. Stevie, come back here. She can't go off on her own. What if something happens to her? I'll catch up with her. No, 
I can't do anything right. That's not true. You guys are so much better than me at everything. Stevie and I have been riding since we were kids. You've just started and you're already on an overnight trail ride. That's pretty good. I guess so. I'm sorry if I've been giving you too much advice. It's just I know what it's like when you first start riding. I bet you're a natural. Huh. You should have seen me after my first overnight trail ride. Ah, I couldn't sit down for three whole days. Come on. It's true. I even had to bring a pillow to school. It was <laughs> totally humiliating. <laughs> you think that's funny? <laughs> Go ahead and laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Carol. For bringing a pillow to school, even I'm a better rider than that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Can anybody hear me? Anybody? Oh! Stevie, would you wait up? What are you doing here? Looking for you? Taking off like that was a really dumb thing to do. For your information, I didn't take off. I was just looking in a different part of the woods. And who said you had to come running after me anyway? It's dangerous out here. Come on, let's go back to Lisa and Carol. No, I'm looking for Veronica. If you think it's so dangerous, why don't you go back home? Fine, I will. Fine. What are you waiting for? I said go home. I can't go home. Neither can you. What are you talking about? We're lost. Wait, you can't go. I mean, it's too late. Nah, Wash said they were late starting, so I can make rehearsal after all. Maybe I should come with you and help carry your guitar. <laughs> Thanks, but I've got it. Oh! I almost forgot why I needed you. I can't find Bark's bridle. Isn't it in the tech room? That's what I thought, but I can't find it. Can you help me, please? <sighs> can't it wait? I really need it now. Please, it'll only take a minute. Okay, but then I'm going. It's kind of like helping with the horses. What are you little freaks doing? That's Barks. Mrs. Red said we could. Well, stop it. That's Red's job. Let him do it. Ah, you found Barks' bridle. Wow. Did you two clean all these bridles? Thanks. You guys are the best. Thanks to you, I'm out of here. I owe you guys. Maybe you could take us out, you know, to thank us for all the work we did. Great idea. Uh, why don't the three of you go for pizza? It's on me. Yes! How can we be lost? You said you knew your way around. I did know until you decided to take a shortcut. I was fine until you showed up. Well, excuse me for trying to help. I told you I don't need your help. Oh, yeah? So, which way do we go? That way. I don't remember coming from there. If you remembered, we wouldn't be lost. Come on, it's worth a shot. <sighs> great. Just great. I'm stuck out in the middle of nowhere, cold and broken. Nobody even cares enough to try and find me. I hate everyone and I hate camping. Could my life get any worse? Maybe Max has found Veronica by now. I hope so. It's getting late and I'm tired and hungry. So starlight. Do you think we should head back to camp? 
Yeah, but first we have to find Stevie and Phil. Veronica! 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 Familiar? Yeah, I think that's the third time we passed that tree. Do I have something on my face? No. Well, then why are you looking at me like that? I wasn't looking at you like anything. Can't you figure out how to get us out of here? Talk about perfect timing. What happened? Oh, nothing much. Lisa just saved your butt. Yeah, using the emergency whistle that her mom gave her. Remember the one you made fun of? Well, uh, I was just joking. Can't you guys take a joke? I think what Veronica's trying to say is, thank you. Yeah, you totally saved us, Lisa. Now aren't you glad you overpacked? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello? If your little saddle club reunion is over, can somebody give me a hand? Veronica! We're over here, Max. Is everyone okay? I'm hurt and they won't help me. Well, will my head be okay? Like it ever was. <laughs> you have a small graze, but it doesn't look serious. I think my ankle is broken. Phil will have to help me back to camp. Can you move it? <laughs> no. It's 
probably just a bad sprain. What do you know? I'm sending you home to get checked out by a doctor, just to be safe. I'm sure you'll be fine. Great. You should consider yourself lucky. It could have been a lot worse if the Saddle Club hadn't shown up. Don't you have something to say to them? Thank you, Saddle Club. <laughs> I heard you guys were heroes yesterday. Stevie was. She fought off the wild dogs. Lisa helped too. We all did. Wow. Life at Pine Hollow must be pretty boring after that. No way. We're so glad to be home. We just wish we had a chance to say goodbye to Phil. Phil who? Stevie's new boyfriend. He is not. <clears throat> is he around this talk? Blonde hair and blue eyes. How did you know? He's standing right behind you. What are you doing here? I signed up for Saturday lessons. I really like you. Your instructor, Max. He's the best. So, see you Saturday, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, wait. Look, I'm sorry. You were right. I shouldn't have gone off the trail. I'm sorry too, you were right. If we'd stayed on the trail, we wouldn't have heard Veronica at all. She's actually smiling at him. Do you think they like each other? And you don't have to thank me for helping you out with Veronica. Thank you? Why would I thank you? I was handling the wild dogs fine by myself. In your dreams, they were coming right for you. Sounds like love to me. <laughs> that was all part of my plan. What plan? You know, the plan to be <laughs> Won't you?